it is a beautiful day life in one of the most beautiful city in the world which is Lagos State welcome ladies and gentlemen to the official open house of the challenge that we have for sale inside Big Resort and Golf Course Lakwa, Lagos, Nigeria. So today, a lot of people will be gathered here, both investors, routers to see the one-bedroom chalet and the two-bedroom chalet. So I want to say to you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the entire open house event today to the end, where you're going to be hearing more and more about more details about the project ongoing in this beautiful estate by the managing director himself so yes let's go see what has been done to this one bedroom chalet are you ready because i'm excited i really want to see how it's been done because today you got to see the setup how spacious it is now that we have furnitures i mean house equipment in this chalet then you will be able to agree with me that truly this one bedroom is the most spacious Charlotte, you will ever see anywhere around this beautiful city called Lagos. So, hey, I'm gonna see you guys at the end of this video. So, let's go see it. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Lord, we have come before you this house opening, house showroom ceremony. Lord, we ask that you take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we ask that, Lord, you will do that which you want to do for this project in Jesus' name. We ask that you make this project to be built and habitable in record time in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, so I'll just talk about it. Let's sit down, let's sit down. Sometime around June, July last year, we launched this project land called peak um luxury peak resort and golf course and everywhere here was all bush and water everywhere so in the space of about 12 months we've reclaimed a large portion of the land in the estate we'll be able to i'll take us to that side to see we started with 20 hectares today we are 50 hectares counting to the glory of god the first 20 hectares was inside this place. And you can see buildings going on right Those are the first building at the decking level. And then, then we acquired this spot, another 15 hectares. Then we got another location of 20 hectares over there for um, the Lagos State Government. And um, so along the line, we wanted, we just didn't want it to just be only land and conventional house. Like we said, we wanted to have it to be peak resorts and golf course um we have two partnerships on the project that we are excited about one is the golf course development when we go inside you will see the the work that is going on in the golf course area and then so in this portion where we put also we have another partnership of a boat club here yeah. yesterday i was on a boat from from where the falomo jetty all the way to this axis we're here with officials of Lagos State Government. It's a very fantastic view. The government is excited about it. And I'm, I'm sure Lagos State Government is coming on this route today. They are coming to um, Itomu. Itomu is one of is a jetty stop before you get here, where they've also put another commercial jetty. So we are getting a boat club here. So along the line, we decided to say, okay, let us also do something that people in diaspora can buy into. They can live in a well sustainable luxury community and then it can also fetch them income for rental income, whether they are doing short let or Airbnb. So we came up with the idea of this one bedroom chalet in December. Um, we built the first one around um, February, March to see what it will look like. Calculated our numbers to be sure we are not losing money. And then we decided there was demand for the two bedroom. Decided to start building the two bedroom also. Today is March, uh, May 25. Am I right? Or 26? Today is May, May 25th. And so we started the two bedroom also. 
And so today we want to walk you through the one bedroom. So you see what the one bedroom looks like with the furnitures inside. And so anybody that buys into the one bedroom for a chicken amount of 20 million, uh, for those that loved into it when we first started, they bought it at, I think 15 million. And we were quick to stop it because we have to just let us look at our numbers and see that we are not just selling and running at a loss. So it's selling for 30 million now. And so you can actually have an idea of the space. If I, when I got this, I was like, ah, this house is too big. Somebody say, don't reduce it though. But the honest truth is, uh, my joy is that somebody will come in and see that, ah, ah, this is good enough. Somebody can live there as a full-time house for a first home buyer in this area in Lakowe, an environment with artificial lakes, with golf course, with boat, uh, boat club. This is a channel that we've done that leads this, this water channel. We dredged that a lot of money it cost us to link to the lagoon. So this water goes to lagoon to Ikoi. This one goes to Ekpe. If you, want, if you want to go from here to Delta to anywhere, you can take off from here. But once you link up to the lagoon, you are good. We've been able to successfully do that. So I'll just ask for your permission to let me walk you through this one bedroom. When we are done with the one bedroom, we can go to inside the project to see the terraces that are under construction. We have about how many terraces? About 16 terraces under construction there now. The one is under the first floor slab. We did piling for them. You will see everything there, then the ground beam and then the other road construction and all the water works. So please, let's go there. <laughs> Am I sounding like a marketer? <laughs> yeah. A one bedroom, um, one bedroom bungalow with um, one bedroom chalets, two toilets, one bathroom, um, a couple of things are still under there but you wanted to look at the space the furnitures and all of that and so we want to do this open house and open it in the name of the father Amen. and of the son Amen. and of the holy spirit Amen. thank you so i can walk you through this place if you see we have how many steps in here one two three four five our dpc level is about 1.2 meters higher than the natural ground and why did we do that? Because we are building in a place where there's artificial lake. We are also mindful of the level of the water level. So from where I am standing here to the tip of the lagoon, the Lagos Lagoon, I am almost 2.2 higher than the tip. That's the tip. And the water here flows all the way to the lagoon. So the water that will flood in this environment and get to this place, I will say that that water has almost finished the whole of Lagos State. So you have nothing to fear about when it comes to flooding. This place is a very fantastic place that somebody can decide to use as a sit out. You can decide to come up with ideas, put your railings, put your flowers. This is still part of your space. We are not charging extra for it. So follow me. Our doors here we have. So we are also mindful of security when you are doing something like this in a, in a place that is developing. This is an imported Turkish bullet resistance door. You know, they used to say bullet proof. But somebody, a general, corrected me when he said there's no door that is bulletproof. It depends on the size of the gun. <laughs> so I changed it to bullet resistant door. So come in. So when you step in, I have a very fantastic big setting room. This is a modest, a modest finishing. So I'm doing this as a simple, let's say I'm not the, the person buying the product is not a very rich man. I just want to have a modest finishing. You can comfortably sit up to about five guests here, right? I have my blinds, my space, my TV console table. I can put a center table here with the rug. So actually, if it's not a growing up family, a new couple can actually live in a one bedroom child apartment like this. Even if they have their first baby, they can still live in here for a start. Then, are you shocked that you also have a dining? Don't be shocked. So when I designed this place and I was looking at it, after we started setting, I saw that I said, ah, this place is big, oh. Should I Google convert this one to two bedroom? No. Those that have bought it, the design we've given to you, your contract remains the same. So this is a six table. However, it's supposed to be a four table. But we are letting you know that even if I make it a six table, you still have some space. So if I push in my chairs under here, I can still do my laundry here. I have my cooker unit here. I have my microwave. I have my fridge and my freezer, and I can still talk in my washing machine, 
under this place. So I, I can have a very functional space around this area. Let me take you into the room. Okay, so initially, so from feedback we've gotten from clients, from our partners, from our realtors, we usually have a bedroom separate and then we had a toilet separate and a bathroom separate. But along the line, they were like, okay, let's make the room and shoot and let them see our visitor's toilet. So we quickly did a little bit of modification. So we have listened to you. Now we have visitor's toilet separate. So we now have a visitor's toilet. And then we also, we added this space. We added this space. You will see that there's a, there's a space here before the visitor's toilet. In case they want to do ironing for ironing table, laundry clothes, you can actually tuck it in here. Somebody can decide to put a small curtain here. All these um, decorative bamboo curtains, something can be here to shield this place. And then we have a visitor's toilet. Now let me take you to the master's bedroom. This master's bedroom is for a one bedroom chalet. I know some place they can even get two rooms here. Huh? Again, this is a modest finishing. Assuming the person buying the house doesn't have so much of luxury, let me just get a basic. This bed is just about, is it 500,000 or 450,000? Just basic cabinets. So imagine if I decide to do a luxury finishing, this place will come out as, wow, the space is there. So for this is a one bedroom space for a one bedroom chalet that is selling for 20 million. Has his own toilet, has his own shower. Then we were able to carve out a visitor's toilet. So in this place, you see that there's still works going on here. Because this was a dime minutes work. Initially, this is where this ended. This bathroom ended, and there was a shower here and a toilet here. So we now said, okay, no, let us make sure that they have a visitor's toilet. So we have to carve out this space. Now there's a visitor's toilet on the other side. This is a toilet for this room, and it has a shower, and then it's washing basin. So this is end suit now. All this is just still work in progress. But that is what you are going to get as much as possible for the space. So as much as possible, now you've seen the one bedroom, two toilets, one shower, massive shower. If I can put a jacuzzi there, if you want to chop the life of the big boys, mm -hmm. is to take a jacuzzi. And then you still have your kitchen, dining, sitting room. You have your space, then you have at least two dedicated parking space for yourself. Your kitchen can take, it, it already has a microwave, cooker you need. You can take a washing machine and you have a laundry corner for ironing and everything. There's no way you get this in Lagos. Challenge me to it. Anybody? There's no way. There's no way. There's no flat that you even get this space. So what we did, what we did, the footprint, the footprint of this building is almost about um, 80 something square meters. Ordinary flat is like 60 square meters, 70 square meters. So there's no way you will get that footprint. And the fact that chalets are not so more common. Are not so more common. And it gives you your space. See how ventilated this room is. One, two, three, four. Very ventilated. That's the first thing. The city room is ventilated. The dining is ventilated. Everywhere is well ventilated. So our design took in cognizance all the issue of, of um, ventilation, dead areas, lightning, greenhouse, as much as possible. So if you are living in this, if you also look at our height, we maintain a very good headroom. If you go to the city room, the headroom is very high. So you spend less on actually cooling the house as much as possible. Not for us now, we didn't try now. All of you buy me cook today. <laughs>as much as possible by the time this building is finished people will be asking so where's my own space where's my own landmark so because it's a chalet design in a resort there'll be no eye fences but we'll make sure that there will be sufficient green areas to create barriers so this person now this is his boundary so a walk will be created around this property all right and he has his parking also in front of his house the person next to him, this is a two bedroom we are doing now so for this two bedroom, his own parking is also here. He has his own parking here and also in front. They will also plant trees. So we are, we are going to be help in, in a couple of months now, all these trees will become very big. So there will be a shield and a shade around the property and like a barrier wall. This is a two bedroom. I will just quickly take you in through it. Yes, construction going on. Can we? Uh, okay, so we should not. Yes, yes, all right. Mm, okay. Uh -huh.
All right. So um, in the in this space now, I was talking about the boat, the boat club. Yes. I am very very excited about it. This is the portion that we are having the boat club here. Okay. You see, this is our fence going like this. The twenty hectares. The fence is going like this. This portion like this to the water. Okay. So we are having the boat club. We have dredged it. So we are. We are also. I'm saying this so that clients that have boats, yes. they should start importing their boats. You can buy it from abroad. They have ample time. It's cheaper when they buy it from abroad. Yes, yes. And then they can just have their boat club. They get the license. They can also go from here, go to anywhere they want to be going, anywhere they want to do. And then once they register with Lagos Ferry, you can either you can stop at Lake Ifizwa, you can stop anywhere, just pack your boat, come back in the evening, take your boat again and move. Yeah. So when we go in there now. Let's take a little bit of walk right. into the... So, um, between now and um, and last year, when we started this, everywhere here was all water. So, in fact, you know, this water was across this place. So, we, we did a little bit of um, topography studies to see where the direction of the waters came from. Water flows from this side and from this side. So we did a covert here to take this water in here after we dredged this canal. And then we did another channel for water to come this way. Why we still want to maintain the natural beauty of the lake. All these buildings we are doing, you will see that behind this one, there are other buildings coming up. Yeah. So the buildings will go all around the lake as much as possible on this side. We also have another artificial lake inside this place. Please come with me. So this is a covert we've done. Water, you can see the rate that the water is flowing. So this also laterally tells you that the water is discharging at a very higher level here to what the level of the lagoon is. So we transfer this height, this is where I'm standing on, to the bay, to the top of our DPC, of our houses there. We're about one meter, 1.2 meter higher. So the water that will naturally get to this top, again, Lagos is finished. The water she gets, it is it's impossible. That means I'm saying the sea level is rising by one meter. So conventionally, the tip, the top of all our foundations are almost like two meters higher than this level. So this side is where we are having the, the boat club and then the commercial area. So we are pushing most commercial activities around where we have the boat club. Yes, for all those that are bought into the commercial um, structure. So, because of the high influx of trucks bringing in sand for some filling and all of that, we've initial, initially we did this road, but we've had to abandon it now so that trucks only will be passing here until when they finish their works. So we are focusing on this one to make this one for cars only. So the truck users can continue to use this. So this is the main road driving in. And then we have about, um, one, two, three, four, five. We have about 20 units of terraces ongoing now. Three bedroom, two bedroom. And then we also have detached um, bungalows with bed floor. Also ongoing under construction. I'd like to take you through our construction because as much as possible, the beauty of our plan, the our plan project gives you two benefits. Okay. Number one, you see the nakedness of what you are buying. So you can beat your chest to say, I did not buy bafuele. I didn't buy fake. At the same time, you can pay in installments. So let me walk you through our foundation for, this is a terrace duplex that is being done on the soil like this. Conventionally, most people that do a story building here, they don't do piling. Efficacy construction company is a company that we do not um, jeopardize quality at any stage. What you can see here is a pile cap. This is a what? A pile cap. A pile cap. This pile cap comprises of about three piles. Mm. And our piles are drilled up to 12 meters. 12 meters is equivalent to a four-story building. That is how deep we went into this foundation. Okay? And then this is a ground beam. The ground beam, what it does, is it uniformly distributes the load on these piles. The essence of having the piles is such that, you know, sometimes you can do a test. And at the top here, the soil is good. 
And at this point, the soil is good. Mm -hmm. But from this point, it can be clay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And after that clay, it might be soil. Mm -hmm. So any day this building takes a while, maybe it settles, you know, building settles, but you may not see to your naked yeah. eyes. Yeah. But when you use the instrument, you will know. So a building can actually settle from this level to this point, and you will not know. But once it passes the maximum allowable strength of that soil, and enters a clay area or an area where the soil is not good, the rate of settlement will increase. That building will just be going down. We've got nothing can hold it. So what we have done is to take our pile to drill all the way past all the clay to where we have a strong soil strata, where we have a good aquifer, a good soil to be able to withstand the building. And that's where we terminated our power pump, which is about 12 meters. And then we did our ground beam. And this is our DPC. This is our ground slab before we cast the damp proof course. Again, you will also see houses. I didn't plan for this, so. So it will be like we did this so that you can see. This is the conventional way we build. When you are building, you see that you cannot see any sand under this place. When you see some houses, after you move into the house, you see water coming out from the side of the wall. Those things are caused by um, capillary. When water rises from under the soil, when this place is wet, it travels from this wall all the way to the block. If you see here, we first of all do a, a concrete flooring before we raise the reinforcement. So we have separated this reinforcement as much as possible from any form of water. Under this guy is also a membrane, a nylon membrane. Can you see? So this nylon membrane pre prevents water from coming from under into this concrete. Then we now have our reinforcement on it. So as it is now, this is what you are getting for all your story buildings here. So we now cast it. After so we've also started the, the the roads into the plot, but some filling, some plots are some filled there for building already. Some plots are some filled here for building already. And then we have the um, the golf course activities going on inside there. So this is a typical um, terrace block that is already at the first floor slab now. Um, this our terrace are identical with all the other terraces we've done in um, Terrace One. Terrace two, terrace three. So when I say identical, the dimensions are the same, but we are doing a little bit of tweaking inside. So this one of the DPC has been done. You can see the thickness of our DPC. That's between 150 to 200. Ooh. And here we have our first floor slab ongoing for this unit. So this is the ground floor for one of the terrace. For people that are not in so when you look at this, yeah, it's small. But when the whole thing sets up, you see that the space is, is quite big. So this one has a big on the ground floor, kitchen, living room. There's a staircase, starter bar, and then we do the first floor slab. So these are the activities that are ongoing now in your peak resort and construction. We also have our land reclamation going all the way down there. We have the resort work also going on over there. Do you have any questions? <laughs> I think I have a question. Yes. For uh, eventually sure you are finished paying it. Mm. When do you deliver? Ah, oh, 12 months. We have calculated. After, after payments. Yes. No, you know, payments have different... Um, payments are tied to... Because delivery are tied to payment plans. Yes. My, my client has uh, finished paying. For here? Yeah, so if they finish paying, they are part of the first set we are delivering then in 12 yeah, months. I just want to know because mm. you can't be too sure it will come in anytime. Um, when did your client finish paying? December. December, that was when we launched it then. We launched it around uh, November. December. Before December, if you yeah. want time. Then, to us, to see the infrastructure. Infrastructure. So, but we need to know so that. Your client bought the terrace? Uh, three bedroom, bungalow. Which loft? December. Penthouse. Yeah. One of the beauty of the things we are trying to do now, hopefully by by before October, we are working with um, there's a there's a contractor with um, PHCN. So for this size of project, we want to take our own electricity from Lagos Island. Excellent. Yes. So we'll, that means we will buy poles all the way on the express cable and all of that. To have that way, that's the only way we can guarantee 21. 24, uh, 21 hours electricity. We are not using the local substation. That's the only thing I can see as a delay for them not being able to move in. But for December, 
this yeah. building December. This building should be ready. December. Yes, this road. Because what we have done is again not to choke ourselves. You will see that we intentionally put the buildings in front. Okay, so that any infrastructure we are doing will serve all those that we are delivering buildings for. People that have bought land are on this side. So buildings are on this long stretch. Yes, exactly. So that makes it very easy for us to control development. And the people that bought land, we have about three of them now that they are working on the approvals to, to come and start building. Because the more building starts, the more value it has to your client's property too. Yes. So, so I believe December, but eventually it happens. By God's grace. So I know what I, I told you December. By God's grace. Yeah, I'm optimistic that before this, I don't want to build those challenges. There are nobody's living in there. Before, <laughs> before story starts. So as much as possible, as they are delivering, we've only sold very few of the chalets and they're also paying installment. But with the view of what people have seen today, they actually understand the space. Some people just bought it on trust because it's efficacy. But now when they see that ah, this thing actually makes a lot of sense, they can actually now get more. We have about 250 units of those chalets to build there. So we've only done about seven. And as much as it is, we are looking at, okay, when people now see, they understand the concept and then we can go all out for it. So we are really driving development to make sure that people start living here as fast. And it's very close to the road. It's less than a kilometer to the road. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, for clients that bought the land, what's their process for them to get their approval? So, but, uh, so for clients that bought land, the first thing is they need to submit their drawings. We will not allow more than a story building here. And then if you are doing more than a story building, you need to only have a paint floor. That your platform will not be more than 30% or 50% of your space. That means the remaining places will be veranda or ceiling. They bring the drawing to us. We, have, we see that it's compliance with what we want. Then we send them to Lagos State Government. They make their payments, process their approval, and then they can come and start. Okay, they don't have to wait for Epicas to bring their survey and do it before they bring their... No, your survey is what you use for your drawing. You need survey because your survey will show you the boundary. The survey is what they use for the site plan for the drawing. So you need your survey. Mm. So if you have not gotten your survey, let us know. By Saglory is here, just put it down. If you are paid for the survey, the survey is necessary for your architect to design it. Yes. Mm. All right, sir, so let's take it one back. Wow, 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 wow. That was a full tour from the managing director himself. Now, I didn't see that coming anyway, ladies and gentlemen, but that was nice. I mean, it was a good one to have the managing director give us a tour all the way from the chalet, and then he spoke extensively about the ongoing project. One of the highlights of the day for me is the technicality that he talked about, showing you guys how um, they are building something that is, they are building houses that's going to definitely last the test of time. That is primarily very, very important for me. And of course, it should be for all of the investors out there. So thank you so much guys for watching um, this video today. Hmm. If you're yet to hone a piece of big result and golf course, Hmm. I honestly don't know what you are waiting for. Honestly, you have numerous options. Either you are doing the service plot, residential, or you are doing the commercial plot. By the way, you heard him when he said the commercial plots are going to be where the boating club, the boat club is going to be. That is amazing. By the way, now, aside honing residential or commercial plot, you also can buy into the houses, the three-bedroom bungalows, the one with the penthouse, the one with the studio apartment, studio as BQ, or you're buying the terraces, two-bedroom or three-bedroom, or you're buying one of my favorite house currently, which is the reason why we are here today. The toilet, ladies and gentlemen, one bedroom. Ah, oh my God, did you guys see that one bedroom? I mean, he made more sense now that they are set it up. My God, you guys need to wait to see my tour video on the two bedroom. I mean, that is equally very spacious. And for what? For 20 million, that single bedroom? Ah, it makes a lot of sense. The two bedroom, 25 million. No, 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 no. You should be getting one for yourself or you should be getting one. You should be telling someone who knows about who might be interested to come and buy this. Especially our um, Nigerians in diaspora. And of course, you should be calling me. I'll be delighted to help you become a landlord, a landlady or a landowner 
right here in Peak Resort and Golf Course located once again in Lagwe, Lagos, Nigeria. So thank you so much once again for watching the video. My name remains Goodness Usman, your fab lady Roto for Nanja Riti to enforce and of course the queen of landlord makers. I'll see you when you give me a call but until then ensure that you yes you watching me remain safe and awesome just the way you are so i said to you all oh,